I can't believe the day's finally here, but here it is. I'm beginning my trek back to the US. I believe this is my first car coming to get me. Yep, Liu Jiu Yao Yao, so this is me. Oh, I just got off the first car, now I'm at the subway station, but it's kind of funny. I have to go to the Shuangliu Airport to hop on the subway, the Line 19, to go to Tianfu Airport on the other side of the city. So, anyways, I'm gonna buy my ticket now. So, here's the map of Chengdu, and Tianfu Jicheng is Line 19. So, here, Tianfu Jicheng Bay, and Tianfu Jicheng Yi Hao. Also, I'm gonna wanna go to this one, I'm TE. And then by one, I'm gonna use WeChat. And now I gotta scan the code. I just got my subway ticket and now I have to go through this um, subway security. But I'm a little nervous because I have some Baijiu. So I don't know if they're gonna let me go on or not. Wow, I was surprised that they, um, they let me pass. Once, once a few years ago, I was with some co-workers and we had Baijiu and they wouldn't let me take Baijiu on the, on the subway. So anyways, this time they let me pass they know what Baijiu it was. The lady was kind of nervous though. She's like, Baijiu, do what shall do? Like, how strong is it? But the worker there was saying, um, it's the Lang Baijiu. And he's familiar with it and he's saying it's not that strong. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's uh, take the subway now. Line 19 is a fairly new subway station. I can't tell you exactly what year it was finished, but I know it finished somewhere between like 2020 and 2022. And, um, yeah, when I first came to Chengdu, there weren't that many subway metro lines. I want to say like maybe seven or eight, but they've just, they just keep expanding and expanding and expanding. And yeah, so now in Chengdu, the subway is pretty convenient. I've arrived at the airport subway station, but it was a bit confusing this time because the last two stops are both called Tianfu Jicheng, and this one is Tianfu Jicheng um, 1 and 2, but then there's another one called Tianfu Jicheng North. And so, if you ever fly out of Tianfu Jicheng, make sure you get off at the second to last. Um, it will say Yi Hao or Hao. That's the one you're gonna get off at. You're, you're not gonna wanna go north. And yeah, luckily I didn't have to learn that the hard way. So I'm gonna trek on and continue on my journey to the airport. As I was leaving the subway, I went through additional security to enter the airport because it just kind of flows into each other. And I just wanted to take a moment to say like, you can kind of appreciate the security checks just because that is why China is as safe as it is. Um, yeah, and they're not really a big deal. You just kind of put your suitcase on the conveyor belt. You walk and they scan you. It takes like two seconds. Not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm heading towards terminal one for um, the foreign, foreign departure. So that's where I'm going now. Another thing I wanted to add about Tianfu Airport is that this place is massive and it's actually a new airport. It's post 2020. So I remember back in the day when Shuangliu Airport was your only one for foreign and domestic travel, but now they have um, Tianfu and this place is huge. I'm just sitting around the airport now. Um, I'm a bit hungry. There's no restaurants because I haven't checked in yet, but I have these. I'm gonna try the hot pot Lay's chips. First plane, Chengdu to Korea. Oh, nobody's here. We do still have um, a good amount of time before check-in though. Check-in starts at 9.10. And right now it's almost to nine, so we have about 15 minutes. And just line up. All right, I just checked in, just got my ticket. Now I'm waiting to see if there's a problem with my suitcase. I told them about the Baijiu. It seems like everything's okay. And um, let's get this show on the road. I got through customs, I just arrived at my gate. And man, customs was kind of a stupid experience. Um, nothing too crazy happened, just the customs officer was kind of a dick. And I say that because I'm polite and I was like, Jin Guan Hao, just like greeting him, whatever. And he didn't say anything, so I was like, all right, maybe he's playing like strict guy role or whatever, that's cool. And then after, when he was done, he like threw my passport 
at the window back at me and I was like, ha, oh, shit, shit, thank you. And I like gave him a big smile. And yeah, I'm just trying to practice kindness even when folks aren't kind to me. Um, I just think like that's more of a, like their rudeness is more of a reflection of them than it is on me. But anyways, I brush my teeth because having a good dental hygiene routine is, um, it's good for you. You guys should brush your teeth. Anyway, I picked up this bowl of me and bought this pineapple bread. And this is going to be my breakfast tomorrow. Or, no. This is Monday. Huh. Yeah, tomorrow, like, American time. Like, on that long flight, it's going to be my breakfast. So, I still have an hour and 40 minutes before my flight to Korea, though. So, just kind of waiting. Find somewhere to charge my phone, I guess. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Finally boarding the first plane to Korea. And it's been a long day. I think I came way too early today. Hello, so it's feeding time at the zoo. I'm gonna show you guys everything they gave me. So here we have some kind of um, like beef, carrots and stuff, bread, some uh, beans, maybe edamame beans, a cake, a beer. I've been wanting to try Korean beer, so I'm excited for that. I'm gonna dig in. That meal was actually pretty good. Um, if that's gonna be anything, that meal was actually pretty good. And so my long flight from Korea to New York, it's the same airline. So if this is anything to go off of, I'm really looking forward to that, that uh, plane ride. The cake and everything was so amazing. From my past experience, I know Chinese airline food, it's actually pretty good as well. Um, American airline food, it's not that great. Last year, we flew back to China, I believe on American Airlines, and the food was just trash, like cold spaghetti. So it's always like hit or miss. <clears throat> but this Korean airline, man, yeah. It's not even like airplane food, it tastes like restaurant food. I feel like in Asia, they just kind of like do everything so much better. I'm, uh, I'm in Korea. Hmm. It's six in the morning in Korea, and um, I haven't slept at all last night. Left Chengdu around midnight. Arrived here around four in the morning. I think, I don't know what the time difference is, but now somehow it's six in the morning here. So it must have, um, some time must have passed since I've been here. I, um, I had a coffee and, uh, apple fritter at Dunkin', and that was nice. Um, many people around me are still sleeping. I think I'm gonna sleep too, and, um, and just have a rest, a short little rest before I board that long flight to the U.S. Alright, good night. Here we go, after five hours in Korea, finally boarding the plane, heading back to the U.S. When we arrived back in the U.S., the custom system went down for a good hour, so we were all just stuck waiting in line for the system to come back online. It was really quite troublesome. I didn't expect that coming from the U.S. Holy shit, we're back. Jesus, so here we are back in the U.S. I can't believe it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is find out what's going on with my next flight at 5 p.m. Although it's still quite early, I have a few hours. Damn, y'all, after 30, 30 hours or so of straight traveling, man. Back in Buffalo. 
feels so weird. I don't know why. It always, like after being abroad for so long, it always feels like it's kind of weird returning home. I guess that's like the reverse culture shock. But yeah, I'm ready to see some family. Damn, the one thing I forgot about the US is anywhere you go, they always keep the AC pumped, crank that baby up to the highest, everywhere is freezing. Ah. Man, so that's my, uh, my little brother right there. I haven't seen him since 2019. Last summer when I came back with my wife, um, he was out training with the army. So this is gonna be our first reunion in a year. Well, the gang's all here. Well, friends, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please smash the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought. And I hope you're all having a great day or night. Later.